Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Are you asking, or is that rhetorical? Disrespectfulness. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students. Victoria Chase. You're fucking joking, right? Victoria tried to cheat off me, and I stopped her. You should be thanking me. Chloe, watch your language. But Mom... These outbursts only compound the trouble you're in, Miss Price. For her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Chloe, you tried to get someone suspended? Might have. If Mr. Prescott, Nathan Prescott, hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf, and we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. <sighs> If involved means not sticking out my neck for Blackwell's richest ass child, I didn't realize that was a crime. Your lack of awareness does not absolve you of anything, Miss Price. Oh, Chloe. Bullying? Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? Chloe, now is not the time. Gah. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to- I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See? Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me, but only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. 
Miss Price. Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or- Trick her? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, thank God. Mrs. Price, this revelation may color the situation some, but it in no way absolves your daughter. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. How fitting. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is such... What was that, Miss Price? <sighs> Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next. Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. <sighs> no. Nothing to add. I'm glad. Though Chloe may not have been the mastermind of yesterday's events, it was, as I prefaced, the proverbial last straw. In light of your many past transgressions, I have no choice but to suspend you for the rest of the year. But it was the other girl's idea. She confessed. And she will be punished accordingly. But that does not absolve Chloe of her responsibility. I am truly sorry it has come to this. But Chloe will have the chance for reinstatement in the fall. Her actions, beginning now, will be weighed heavily in that decision. Do you understand me? Both of you. Yeah. I mean, as much as I ever do. Chloe? We understand, Mr. Wells. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you.
Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. <sighs> hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you?
Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Max would have loved this shit. Taking pride in Blockwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. At least I'll have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again, if I feel like it. It's about damn time. David, please. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? How to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? Maybe... I don't know yet. Maybe you've had long enough to figure it out. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? I'll just say we had a rather frank discussion. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas, like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, 
I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you can't be serious. David and I have discussed it, and we feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Sure. As long as you promise to never speak to this asshole again. Chloe! Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. You're trying. I, I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, You'll see what a stable home can be like. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Thank you. 
Ugh. This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. No, not going over there. Cigarettes. <sighs> A pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. These magazines are so gross. Who would look at this? Okay, I'm still looking, but it's only because I'm so fixated by how weird it is. You're a long way from the country club, guy. Now this is a Vortex Club I wouldn't mind joining. Gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. This rug has some miles on it. This is no good. Bottles, bottles everywhere, and not one beer to drink. Glass looks way prettier when it's broken. Wonder what else that's true for.
Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. I can't believe Rachel set that fire. I don't think she meant to, but I also don't think she didn't mean to. Crazy that something so destructive can also be so beautiful. Or a fire that began in a trash can could grow to light up the entire sky. In conclusion, fire. Pretty... sweet. to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps. Got it. Magical battery goes here, soon as I magically find one. For junk. I'll probably need to find the one that seems less junky if I have any hope of finding a working battery. You're a long way from the beach. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood?
Here we go. The pick of the litter. This mat has seen some things, mostly feet. Um, this thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes, okay? Good talk. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay, let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. Really thought crime paid better. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat.
Four. Or something. Better head back to the truck. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard. That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And, Frank... I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? We'll see you soon. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> Didn't think so.
Shit. I slept all day. Dad? Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us just like darkness but darkness blinds with absence with loss what does fire blind with beauty but sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks.
Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A pirate flag? A freaky red light? Look at that little dude. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Like, for us to run away? Oh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. Are you getting cold feet? I thought you were all bye-bye Arcadia Bay last night. I still am. I guess. You guess? It's not so easy. This truck doesn't even start, and we don't have any money. We can figure all of that out. I have no doubt. Besides, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... <sighs> he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. Alright. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's uh, a skeptic Because he's overly sensitive and he thinks he's way more important than he is. Also, he's a dick. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. 
It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. When you think about it, getting suspended from the play is a good thing. You don't have to wear that silly costume and prance around stage like an idiot. Maybe I like prancing around stage like an idiot. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Well, let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Shit, it's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe.
That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Price, get your ass in here. <laughs> Dude! It smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that woman? Ah! Ah! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. No, I'm... Fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? Wait, Frank got a puppy? For real? Ah, oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Shit. The mill burned down. Jeez. That's an expensive dog. Got it. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. Okay, little guy. Aw, oh, shit! Pompadou, get up here! Pompadou? You little killer. A throne fit for... Frank. Is this what I think it is? Ah, shit. I'm in the red. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name. It's French. <laughs> okay, but he's not a poodle, Frank. No, he's not. But I'm gonna treat him like one. Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV? Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, 
I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, so... Uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You... You got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait. Do you have it? Give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. Nah, this is the first time he's done this. Kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. 
we could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. Just... Ugh. Locked. <laughs> Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Samuel's working on the sprinklers. Some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. Uh. Shh. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? <laughs> Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... really ridiculous. Hey, uh, Evan? As intelligent as you look right now, you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. <sighs> hey! 
I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Time for a fresh start. Here we go. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. No time like the present. Chloe? Hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't... I, I really can't just let you go in. Look, it, it's cool. Samuel said it was okay. Did Wells? Oh, didn't think so. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to act, Chloe. That's not cool, Skip. You realize that, right? <sighs> Chloe, I just have this feeling like you're up to... Wait. You talked me into letting you into the bathroom this morning, and then you tagged the entire friggin' place. What? No, I... I uh... <laughs> Eh, uh, fuck it. I totally did that. Wells raked me over the coals for that. Ugh. Time to go. Or what? What are you gonna do, Skip? Because unless you're prepared to drag me off this campus, I'm going inside. Chloe, enough. This is my job. Just go. You have never respected me. You and all your smug little classmates. I am so tired of being shit on by high schoolers. 
You know what? I'm done. I'm done with this stupid rent a cop job. <laughs> just, just do whatever the fuck you want, Chloe. Whoa, Skip. Matthews, I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Uh, oh, 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 oh that, that's funny. Cause I, I've got, I've got reports about how your head is, is really far up your ass. Damn. Matthews. Skip really lost it there. All right. Time to find Drew's room. Which one is Drew's room? <laughs> Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? Elliot Hampton's room. Wonder what he's up to right now. Wow. I remember this show. Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. That's not half bad. Okay. Dark. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? Elliot is way more artistic than I thought. Wait, are these about me? What the fuck, Elliot? Yep, uh, definitely Drew's room. Good. <laughs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? <laughs> Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. <laughs> they look so happy. Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four-digit code. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. 
Plenty of possible combinations here. I don't like the look of this dude. Didn't think Drew would be into this nerd shit. Or, I guess this is all Mikey's. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? Damn it. Wrong numbers. Look at that. More numbers. Hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. A <sighs> Might actually need some help with this one. One, two, two, seven. Ugh, worth a shot. Yes! This is kind of fun. Ah. Oh. Did little Drew beat you up too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Okay, got the money. Time to bust out of here. Hey, Mikey. Chloe? What are you doing here? I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so... Why? Bro, we gotta go. What are you doing here? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff, let's move. Drew! Relax. Slow down. Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Drew, what's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah, bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money? 
True. I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money. You don't have to hit me, man. I'm just... Oh. Where is it? Oh. Please. Just give me one. Oh. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. <laughs> Sorry to have to do this, kid. No oh. one steals from me. Oh. No one. Fuck. Fuck. Let me go. No. Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, you are one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Good luck running on that knee now. Bye-bye football. Well, I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. Ugh. Ugh. Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. I... I didn't do anything. You kept my brother safe. Drew, you need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah, no. No way. What, um, what are you going to do? <sighs> about Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. I hear you. This day has been so messed up. And that's before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. At least I can be here for Rachel. <laughs> if I can find her. Of all the possible scenarios involving Victoria Chase and swords, this one is easily the least exciting. Did Doug dig David's garden, or did David? Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden, or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden, know. or did David? Did Doug dig David's garden, or did David dig Doug's? Drew seems to be the captain of every Blackwell sport. 
Man, I hope he's okay. Did Doug dig David's garden? Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, hey, Ferdinand. Sup, Chloe. I mean, sup, fair maiden. Great, uh, method acting. Really? Thanks. Boys changing tent. Thanks, but no thanks. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David Rachel? Come on, V. You got this. You got this. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play. What are you two doing here? Or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. Just like she tried to sabotage me yesterday. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? Yeah, I guess. I mean, even if you are super lame to me all the time, I hope you don't completely suck up there. And even if you do suck, who cares? I mean, let's be real, you're not Rachel. But that's okay, because you're Victoria Chase. You know? Even if you suck. Oh, oh my god. Thank you. Oh, that's exactly what I needed to hear. Uh, okay. Cool. Tea? For your instrument. We want you at your best tonight. Okay, V. Time to shine. Oh, Price, that was epic. You distracted her just long enough for me to slip those pills into her tea. I did. Oh, hey, uh, that's mine. The tower is a tarot, you know. It symbolizes sudden change. I always pegged you for the dramatic type. I blame the company I keep. Oh, okay. I better start getting into costume before... Sweet pardon. We're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. Ah! Touché. Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost. What? Uh, uh, 
Oh, no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The cynic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please. For me. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. I seriously have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel. <sighs> Looks like I'm late, as usual. By accident most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. <sighs> Thou art inclined to sleep. <sighs> Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. <gasps> oh, uh, that's I you. I am ready now. Get up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. <sighs> All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? Yea, I have pointed thy tempest, and, uh, forsooth, it was the pointiest tempest I ev ever pointed. The pointiest? Then I'm well assured. The king's own ship lies pierced upon this storm. Well done. Who was so firm so constant that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. <laughs> cried, <clears throat> hell is empty and all the devils are here. Yes. But are they, Ariel? Safe? All right. I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. How now, capricious friend? Thou art not done. <sighs> if thou art tired, thou must needs repose. Yeah. I'm... A 
I wish I could throw that at Rachel for getting me into this. Sick lightning. Maybe I can pretend I got hit. I want to play her part. I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. Not a hair perished, and uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the isle. In troops! Bravo! Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed. But there's more work. <laughs> is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My, uh, equality? No creature may come near to equal Prospera. That lies beyond my power to bestow. My liberty. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line. Is it? What's going on? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Keat, they're way Shh. off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Excitement's a mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures, I prefer to know Thou still cared for my plainest self. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes, and when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes, I am most pleased. Your duty, done for now. So go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. Thanks, Chloe. Well done. An admirable effort. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. <laughs> no problem. What the hell just the happened? Of your Was story, that real? Heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, Come I say! On! Uh, mm. as wicked do as e'er my mother 
brushed. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Fuck you. Where should this music be? In the air? Or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No, wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. <laughs> I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I beyond all limit of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you? His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break. Their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands, with the help of your good hands. Wasn't that fun? You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. behind you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. <laughs> he was shitting himself. <laughs> that dude owes me. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of our production rests upon your slender shoulders? <laughs> I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You were... No, you. Like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. 
So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? Yeah, I feel really awesome. If you told me this morning I'd be this happy tonight. You've gone through so much shit today. Right now is pretty good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. Well, <laughs> everything's been magical since we started hanging out. Let's leave. For real. For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night. Let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but... Like... Eventually. Let's go... Now. Didn't we already agree on stage? We can't just... <laughs> Why not? Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> Hell. New York City. Obviously. 3 a.m., you and me outside some cafe on St. Mark's, shoving pizza in our mouths and shouting Broadway songs with ten people we just met. And this cute guy in horn-rimmed glasses will pass by and see you and slow down. Yeah. Okay. He'll be like, want to split a cab? And I'll be like, back off. She's with me. You're full of shit. <laughs> I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> Rachel, stop. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? How about, um... Oh. Is that convincing enough? Yeah. Oh, holy shit. Right? What is this stuff? I think it's a sign. I think we should leave tonight. Really? If you want to, I'm ready. Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff for my house. For you or for me? 
I gotta say, my clothes look damn good on you. Cool. Let's do it. And then, we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. That sounds perfect. Oh, you're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our surprise star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Thanks, but I, I was just gonna stop in for a sec and then bounce. Oh, did you have other dinner plans? Dinner plans? <laughs> I always thought dinner was something that just sort of happens. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Totally. <laughs> your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And, Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? Huh. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. Solved it. Mm. 
Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Can't tag this while Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could... Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. All right, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. It's off to the table with you. Glasses. Damn, the embers are fancy as shit. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. Yes, Chloe? Plates, check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm, another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. 
Uh, thanks. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. It's the triangle-shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Something else? Duty calls. <laughs> Good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. Gotta put down this fancy-ass glass. Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's li cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. <laughs> right? <laughs> you are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I think. Time to light some candles and bless this joint up a bit. <laughs> the Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? I wish. Rachel's all honors. I'm still trying to get into remedial... What's it called? Vocabulary. What about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Uh, it's almost surreal. They say a fire like that could only come from a crime of passion. Passion? What does that mean? I don't know. You tell me. Because you're the DA, of course. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. 
I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Uh, yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. Rachel? Uh, that's just a little inside joke we have together. Uh, no, <laughs> you blow me, Rachel. Chloe, stop. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite, okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of me. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying! Stop being a politician for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw... That wasn't my mistress. That was your mother.